Want personalized horror stories and exclusive perks from Mr. Creepy Beast's YouTube channel? Join our Patreon community today. Get your name mentioned in our videos. Have your own story voiced and published. Receive a unique story and hand-drawn illustration. And have early access to our latest content. Don't miss out on this spine-chilling opportunity. Subscribe now. Jessie woke up Easter morning to find a basket of goodies sitting on her kitchen counter. She picked it up and carried it over to the living room, where her husband and kids were still sleeping. She placed it on the coffee table and eagerly began to sift through the contents. The basket was filled with all sorts of sweet treats. Jelly beans, candy eggs, and a large chocolate bunny wrapped in shiny gold foil. Jessie's mouth watered as she reached for the bunny and slowly unwrapped it. As she took a bite of the chocolate, she heard a voice whispering in her ear. Who's there? she asked, looking around the room. But no one was there. She shrugged it off, figuring it was just her imagination playing tricks on her. But every time she took another bite of the chocolate, the voice grew louder and more insistent. Who are you? it asked. Why are you eating me? Jessie's heart raced as the voice continued to speak. She felt like she was losing her mind. She wanted to stop eating the chocolate bunny, but she couldn't resist the delicious taste. As she ate, the voice grew even louder until it was screaming inside her head. Jessie couldn't take it anymore. She threw the chocolate bunny across the room and collapsed on the couch, shaking with fear. Jessie couldn't stop thinking about the voice she had heard. She knew it wasn't her imagination. She had heard it loud and clear. She decided to investigate, determined to find out where the voice was coming from. She went back to the kitchen and picked up the chocolate bunny. As she took another bite, the voice returned. But this time, it was telling her something different. Why are you so curious? The voice asked. Don't you know what happened to your family? Jessie's heart skipped a beat. She had no idea what the voice was talking about. What happened to my family? she asked. The voice grew quiet for a moment, and then it spoke again. Your family has a dark secret, a secret they've been hiding for generations. And now it's time for you to find out the truth. Jessie put the chocolate bunny down and sat at the kitchen table, her hands shaking. She knew she had to find out what the voice meant. She started to dig through old family photo albums and documents, hoping to uncover some sort of clue. It took her days of combing through old archives and newspaper clippings, but she finally found a story that sent chills down her spine. It was a story about her great-grandfather who had disappeared under mysterious circumstances. According to the article, her great-grandfather had been a member of a wealthy family with a long history in the chocolate, making business. But one day, he vanished without a trace, leaving behind his wife and children. No one knew what had happened to him, and the family refused to talk about it. Jessie's grandmother had always told her that he had died suddenly and mysteriously, but the article told a different story. It said that her great-grandfather had been involved in a scandal involving the family business. He had embezzled money from the company and fled the country to avoid prosecution. Jessie felt sick to her stomach as she read the article. She couldn't believe that her family had been hiding such a dark secret for so long. She put the article down and looked at the chocolate bunny sitting on the counter. 
She knew that the voice she had been hearing was somehow connected to her family's past. As the days passed, Jesse became more and more obsessed with the chocolate bunny. She found herself eating it every day, even though she knew it was causing her to hear the mysterious voice, but she couldn't stop. She was determined to uncover the truth about her family's past. As she continued to eat the chocolate bunny, the voice grew louder and more aggressive. It was no longer just a whisper in her ear. It was a full-blown haunting. The voice would wake her up at night, screaming in her ear. It would follow her everywhere she went, whispering dark secrets and disturbing messages. Jessie started to feel like she was losing her mind. She couldn't sleep, couldn't focus on anything other than the haunting voice in her head. She tried to talk to her family about it, but they didn't seem to understand. They brushed it off as stress or fatigue, telling her to take a break and relax. But Jessie knew that wasn't the problem. She was being haunted by something dark and sinister. Jessie knew she had to escape from the haunting. She couldn't take it anymore. She packed a bag and left her home, hoping to get away from the chocolate bunny and the haunting voice. But no matter where she went, the voice followed her. It was like it was inside her head tormenting her every step of the way. She checked into a hotel, hoping to get some rest, but the voice continued to haunt her. She tried to drown it out with music and white noise, but it was always there, lurking in the background. Jessie knew she had to do something drastic. She had to confront the source of the haunting and put an end to it once and for all. She decided to go back to her family's chocolate factory, the place where her great-grandfather had worked and embezzled money from. She was nervous but determined to put an end to the haunting once and for all. When Jessie arrived at the chocolate factory, it was deserted. The doors were locked and the windows were covered with grime and dust. But she persisted, determined to get in and confront the source of the haunting. She found a way inside and started to explore the factory. As she walked deeper into the factory, she started to hear whispers, murmurs and footsteps. She felt like she was being watched, like someone or something was following her every move. She finally reached the room where her great-grandfather had worked. It was like stepping into a time capsule. Everything was left the way it had been when he disappeared. Jesse searched the room, hoping to find some sort of clue, some sort of closure. And then she saw it, a box of chocolates on a shelf, covered in dust and cobwebs. She picked up the box and opened it feeling a sense of dread wash over her. And there it was, the chocolate bunny that had been haunting her for weeks. She reached for the bunny, determined to put an end to the haunting once and for all. But as she did, the voice grew louder, more insistent. Why are you here? The voice asked. You can never escape me. Jessie felt like her world was closing in on her. She didn't know how much more she could take. But then she remembered something her grandmother used to say. She would tell Jessie that sometimes the only way to defeat a haunting was to face it head on, to confront it with courage and determination. And so Jessie took a deep breath closed her eyes and took a bite of the chocolate bunny. The voice grew louder, more terrifying. But Jessie refused to back down. 
She ate the chocolate bunny with determination and strength, not letting the haunting get the best of her. Suddenly, she felt a rush of wind and a flash of light. When she opened her eyes, the room was empty and the voice was gone. Jessie sighed, relief washing over her. She knew that the haunting had finally been vanquished, that she could now move on with her life. But she also knew that she would never forget the haunting, the chocolate bunny, or the dark secret that had haunted her family for generations. She knew that the past would always be a part of her, but she was ready to face whatever came her way, one bite at a time. As the days turned into weeks, Jessie's obsession with the chocolate bunny and her family's dark secret grew stronger. She couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more she needed to uncover. One night, as she lay in bed, the voice in her head became so loud that she couldn't ignore it anymore. It was like it was screaming at her, demanding that she listen. She sat up in bed and looked around the room. Everything was quiet, but the voice was still there, whispering in her ear. And then suddenly, she understood. The voice wasn't just a haunting or a figment of her imagination. It was the voice of her great-grandfather, speaking to her from beyond the grave. He had been trying to reach out to her, to tell her the truth about what had happened to him and the family business all those years ago. With a newfound sense of purpose, Jessie went back to her family's old chocolate factory, determined to uncover the truth. She spent hours poring over old documents and records, piecing together the story of her family's past. And finally, she found what she had been looking for. Her great-grandfather had indeed embezzled money from the company, but he had done it to expose corruption within the family business. He had been trying to do the right thing, but had been silenced and erased from the family history. With tears in her eyes, Jessie realized that her family had been living a lie for generations. But now, she had the power to expose the truth and make things right. Jessie's family was shocked when she confronted them with the truth about their dark past. They had no idea that their great-grandfather had been a hero, not a villain. But Jessie was determined to set things right. She worked tirelessly to restore her family's reputation and bring justice to her great-grandfather's legacy. And as she did, the haunting voice in her head slowly began to fade away. She realized that her great-grandfather had been trying to help her all along, and that his voice had only haunted her because he had something important to say. With a newfound sense of peace, Jessie moved forward, determined to honor her family's true legacy and bring light to their dark past. But even as she did, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching her, waiting in the shadows. And as she turned to look, she saw the chocolate bunny, still sitting on the counter, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. Jessie knew that the bunny was still haunted, still carrying a curse from her family's past. But she also knew that she had the power to break the curse and bring peace to her family's legacy once and for all.